G'day to you! <laughs> right, I'm hoping that you're having a fantastic day. We're almost towards the end of the week, guys. It's Thursday! Okay, so, you know, as, 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 as it all goes, um, this is the Lunch and Learn with your host, uh, yours truly, Prosper Taruvinga, the founder and CEO of Live Long Digital where we help you market, scale, and grow your own online business so you have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. I can see Julian has just tuned in, and Kelly is also joining us. Thank you so much uh, for coming in. Now, today's topic is one of those topics that really, really, really needs to be talked about every single time because... As far as I'm concerned, I know you starting a business online, the reason to do that is just not to show up, okay? And I know that the reason why you're online right now is so that you can actually get more clients and customers and generate revenue for your online business. Now, if this is your first time tuning into this show, can you just type in what it is that you do or just your job title so that I know who I'm talking to and that way it would help me make this um, show relevant to you specifically. You know why? Because I care. All right. Now, like I said, my name is Prosper Taruvinga. I'm the founder and CEO of Live Long Digital and the creator of the world famous online prosperity blueprint, the only four step system that's designed to help you start, scale and grow a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Okay. So every single day, at 2 p.m. AEST, we sit down and we talk about how we can actually help you, um, you know, with your business, how we can um, help you earn more money with very little struggle. And I'll be also telling you my story about how this online, um, you know, Facebook Live has totally changed my business and how I'm getting 90, 98% increase in leads um, you know, that are coming through uh, my doorstep. I was just doing a check and it's so exciting and it's never a better time for me to be, um, you know, enjoying these lives and I hope you're enjoying them too. Okay, so like I always say, guys, my job is to exactly help you find the customers you want, generate more revenue and actually grow your business. And I see Kelly is a property consultant. Now, can you tell me, Kelly, do you help investors or do you help uh, property buyers or do you help um, you know people that are looking for rental properties that also has to be differentiated because all of those people are different people that are looking for different aspects of your business for you to service them now Kelly says soon to be an owner of a barber shop too right obviously I know maybe I don't know if you're joking or I don't know which one is your real thing I advise people to focus on one thing. Follow one course until successful. The reason why that is, is in two minutes, you've already managed to confuse me. How, how do you think your market is going to perceive you if you're not sticking to one thing? All right. So figure out where exactly you want to be. Figure out what you really need help with. I cannot help you with the barber shop because I've never been in there for the past 10 years. I never get my hair cut. All right. So see, I'm assuming that the people that are watching this, their goal is to actually achieve a lot more for their business in terms of revenue, in terms of um, leads. And probably that's the reason why you're sitting here and searching to see if this video will have the answers for you. Now, to start off with, if you're not clear about who you want to serve and why they should care, it's gonna be difficult for you to actually attract people, all right? Like the example we had for Kelly a little bit earlier on. I asked her to type what is or what job description she is. The first thing she came up with was property consultant. Automatically, I went the other way. The second way, the second thing she came up with was another thing. Now that's confusing. If you confuse the market, the market has no time for you. All right. But how can you achieve this goal? What is it that you need to do in order to scale and grow and be congruent and create and relate for those people that actually need your services? All right. What you need above all else is I think for now, really actionable digital marketing strategies that actually work and they give you proven and great results that have worked for other people. You also really need to make sure you are providing 
content to the people that need to know, like, and trust you about your business. Stephen, thank you so much for tuning in. It was great speaking to you a bit earlier on, and I hope you've had a fantastic day so far. All right. Now, how are you going to achieve this, and how are you going to stand out in a whole sea of noise Especially for those people that are heading nowhere, have no direction, have no leads, have no way of getting, um, you know, uh, people and have no way of actually converting the, the, the leads that they've had. All right. I want to teach you today how to create an endless stream of clients so that you never go scrapping for clients anymore. All right. Now, the way that this is done, this can be done in a myriad of ways. It always starts with you. Who are you and what have you got to exchange in terms of value to the market? Right. We are all paid in accordance to the value that we bring to the market. And if you're not giving anything, if you're not exchanging your time, your, 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 um, you know, you're not exchanging your time, you're not exchanging your value, the market is not going to find what they need to pay you for, all right? Your life story and your experience have greater importance and market value than you could ever think of, all right? That's the reason why I show up every single day um, here on, on live for 30 minutes. You know why? Because I've got work experience, I've got life experience. And I know it's of value to somebody who is trying to go from where they are right now to where I am positioned in the market. There's a lot of people that want to bridge that gap. And that's the reason why I'm entrusting this video to help you do that. But how do you do that? How do you let people know what you're capable of? How do you let people know how to be in your ecosystem? And how is that possible if all you have is not a lot of um, you know response to maybe your ads or not a lot of people that are following you or not enough followers all right I want to assure you that feeding the internet um, you know is, is, is the internet has got a insatiable what do you call it like it's got a big and huge appetite for content all right how is your content going to stick out how is your content going to help people? I've got one answer for you, my friend. They haven't heard your story yet. All right? Your story is totally different to anything else that's on the market right now. You need to bring that out. You need to bring out all the, your life lessons. You need to bring out all your failures. You need to bring out all the things that have happened in your life that could help somebody, um, that could help somebody go from where they are and go away from the pain that they have. I'll give you a, a small story. Jamie Hill says, uh, love the energy. Thank you so much, man. I do this every single day. If this is your first time, welcome aboard, all right? Now, I've got a two-year-old girl, all right? Every day she's coming here, we're singing, la, 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 la. you know, we're having uh, fun and enjoying life, okay? And after, normally, I, I finish this talk, I normally take her out on a walk so that, you know, we get a breath of fresh air, she gets to go out and uh, and play in the puddles because she watches Peppa Pig and that's her new favorite thing, although it brings back dirt, but my daughter is happy and, um, you know, we are all excited. Now, every time we're walking in the footpath, she always trips or she would fall because she stepped on her shoelaces, all right? Now, this is something that would either hurt her or embarrass her in the long run if we don't nip this in the bud. What is now happening there is she's hurting herself every time she falls down. She's got bruises and she's crying. And obviously a crying baby is annoying. All right. So for me to, uh, to alleviate that, all I did was help her tie her shoelaces. All right. I told her if your right hand, your left hand, cross the um, little threads pull and then do a knot so that you don't have to trip on your shoelaces. Now, have I lost anything by teaching her to tie her laces? No, but I've given her life experience, life knowledge that will help her not to trip, that will help her not to hurt herself and will save her from bruises that she might incur, incur when she falls down. Now, my question to you is, what knowledge have you got that you can impart onto other people 
in the short amount of time that could help them not fall or help them not have bruises in their life. So there's so much that we know that we take it um, for granted that maybe some people are not going to want to hear what we, we have to say. That is total hogwash. All right. You are here to make a difference in the world. And the best way to do that is to actually package whatever knowledge that you have into advice on whatever topic that you're doing right now to help others succeed. All right. Once you package that knowledge into maybe it's the, your, your unique proposition or the way you call yourself or whatever it is that you do, you will help other people succeed and people will pay attention to that. That way you start gathering clients and people that want you to help them more to achieve what it is that you have so you can take them from where they are to where they actually want to be. All right. So everything that you are doing right now, you are learning something that somebody does not know. How many times do you have people asking you, hey, can you help me with this? Or can you help me uh, put, you know, um, an ad on here? Or can you help me do this? My job started off helping a restaurant be featured on Facebook. And then they started paying me and I realized I could make a career out of this. Now, there's a lot of stuff that you know that you're not paying attention to that could help you and elevate you to actually be, do, and have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. You can actually get paid for sharing your advice, your how-to information. In the process, you can actually build a business that's profitable and enjoyable. All right? So right now, if you are doing something that you are not really physically attached to, if you are doing something that's not fulfilling you, find out what information do you know that you can package that somebody would want to pay for. All right? See, the internet has created an opportunity to actually start a business teaching a topic that you know. So you could be passionate about anything. I just told you, I taught my little girl how to tie shoelaces. Now she doesn't fall, she doesn't bruise herself. Can you imagine how many people you can save from falling or from bruising themselves just because of what you've been through or what you know that they don't currently know? So you could just do a bit of research in depth about what it is that you, you know and you can take that knowledge and actually teach it to others through maybe coaching or you could coach it as part of a lifestyle business. All right. That way you really, really get involved. You know why? Because whatever it is, it becomes the Kylie method. It becomes the Joshua method. It becomes the Trish philosophy. It becomes yours. You are no longer copying what's on the market. You are actually delivering what's uniquely yours. You can now charge what you want. You can now, you know, dish it out in a way that feels comfortable to you. Yeah, you see the, the, the connectedness of the internet means that you can now have clients from all over the world. People like Robert Broker, he does um, an everyday show where he meets people from Japan, meets people from Germany, I've sat in one of his hangouts and you know they do this through either Skype, you know, or Zoom or go to meeting and all these tools that we have can literally put you in front of the right people that will help you shape a business that's profitable and enjoyable. All right. So you, you can also use, you know, these payment systems that um, are available online. All you got to do is figure out who are you and what do you know that somebody can pay for and that person is willing and able to actually give you money. All right. I'm more than happy to talk to you after this show to find out what skills and talents do you currently have that you can actually package into how-to information and you can, in the process, build a business that's profitable and enjoyable. There's softwares all around there that you can actually start creating worksheets, handouts, and then give people homework, and you can track how the client is doing. All now you have is a real business that actually adds instant value to people's lives and you can actually teach it while you're in the comfort of your own home. Sometimes we go around trying to create, you know, nothing while we actually do have more to offer and people can tell that but no one is going to be patient enough to wait for you until you have realized that you've got more to give. Yeah? So pretty much I think 
recently Facebook, um, what was it? Facebook sort of uh, said they now have 2 billion active users, which is an immense opportunity for you to actually find your right kind of person who understands you, find the people that would appreciate your, your message and just go out there and deliver it to them every single day, you know? But despite this opportunity and tools and maybe all this access that we have, a lot of people are barely making it online. A lot of people are struggling. A lot of people have no clients. A lot of people have no processes. A lot of people have no um, guaranteed income. A lot of people are studying everything to get ahead. A lot of people have no system to follow. A lot of people have no freedom, have no computer to fulfill their tasks. A lot of people are alone. They don't have a network. They're struggling to make enough income. They're very skeptical of whatever results are possible. But all you have right at the fingertips there, right there. Now, um, Jamie says you're already providing all of that info. So answer the question one time and then a bunch of people will have the answer. Well, exactly, sir. You know, this sort of it takes me back to when I started this show here. All right. You know, it's, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a really long sort of story of how it all started and, and when, where we are right now, etc., etc. You know, but I just looked at the results. I'm going to put a very long post after this so that you can see the results that I was getting in January when I was not going out and giving people any information up until right now. If I look at the results, I'm attracting over 17,000 people coming to my website every single month as compared to about 8,000 people that were visiting my site, um, you know, when I was not giving up value. Now, can you imagine the difference? And I'm not going to really go into how many of those people we've converted because right up until now, we've gone through halfway through the year and we've already doubled the income that we made last year. If anyone wants to doubt that, I'm here to show you stuff, but I'm not one of those people that shows me, um, you know, income because income is nothing. The results that, you know, the impact that we have on people is what that matters to me. The social ink, the currency that we're creating and the impact that we're having on people's lives is what matters to me. Income is a dime a dozen. Anyone can make six figures. That's nothing. Anyone can buy properties. Anyone can buy tailored suits. Anyone can buy tailored shirts. Anyone can buy fancy watches. It's an impact because it's my story. It's going to be your story too. Do you know what I mean? You know? Right now you might be struggling as to how can I get leads sending them to somebody else's business while you actually do have a message inside of you that's just waiting to be delivered, waiting for you to put out that difference into the whole world. You know, you might be struggling to get clients onto a meaningless, um, you know, solution that you think you're providing people because what value are you giving to people by sending them to a, I don't know what you guys are doing. If you are not helping other people to succeed, other people to have a meaningful existence, other people to actually have a business that's profitable and enjoyable, or a life that's meaningful for themselves, then I think you're worried, or you're playing with yourself. You know? So, you know, sometimes you might be looking for a way to get leads and, you know, just that one quick thing to do. But if you are not really invested in the business, there's no way you will be interested in working very hard for it. All I know and all I see in people's posts and, you know, ridiculous questions that they're asking online is basically famine, starvation. You can tell by the way somebody writes or the input they put out that they're not making money. Because they, they have no, nothing to give. The more you have, the more you can give away. So you need to sort of plan ahead. Figure out where am I going to be in five years? Is my business or what I'm doing right now useful? Is it something that is helping somebody? Why am I waking up every single day, um, you know, dressing up and showing up if this is not meaning anything to anyone? Do you know what I mean? 
So if you really want to find leads, let the leads find you. You know why? Because you've got a message that's going to a particular market that really needs to hear what you've got to say and your, your, your unique story. So then you can plan ahead for lead generation. You know why? Because these people are coming to you. You're not sending them offshore or to some other platform where you don't even know how they're going to be treated. All right. A lot of people are statistics that, oh, you know, you can start your own business and, and then it never works out. It's because they are not mentally invested in the business. That's the reason why you can't even attract people because what are you selling them and why should they care about your link or whatever it is you're sending them to? So if you're struggling to generate leads, you know, obviously your income is going to be sporadic. You're going to be very annoying to your friends, your family, everybody else that's around you because all you just want is to send people to that clickety-click link. You, you burn out, you're annoying, and people that are, are, are always sell, 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 you can tell they're, they're, they're frustrated. Why would you subscribe to a life like that? So here I'm telling you that your life story and your experience have greater importance and market value than you could possibly ever imagine right now. I'm living proof that where you are is not permanent. Six years ago, I came from Zimbabwe with nothing but a backpack full of hopes and dreams. I had a couple of sweaty t-shirts in the bag and I still remember, opened the bag and oof, couldn't afford deodorant in Africa. You know, that was six years ago. Came over here, was working in a restaurant. I started helping them with their social media and then he then promoted me to become, you know, the social media manager. I realized I was getting paid for, for you know, being on Facebook. You know? So I started learning, I started learning and then some of his friends came in and they were like, hey, listen, can you also help me with my social media? I was like, wow, okay, so this could be a thing. It wasn't easy though. Started doing my thing and on the side I was doing modeling. Whatever it was that I was doing, it kept bringing my own personal story out. That is what people buy. People don't buy a strategy. That's why you never hear me talk about a, a, a trick or a strategy or whatever. I just come in and speak it raw like this. Thank you so much, Jamie, for tuning in and I hope you're having a fantastic day in Adelaide there. All right? So once you now have a story, guys, it becomes easy. You, people look you up. People would want to interview you for podcasts. All right? People would, would want to, 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 to feature you in their blogs. You can now guest post. It becomes, it becomes because you're just leaving your own story. All you're doing is just retelling a story that you already know, but you never know what impact you're going to be leaving on that person. Just like my two-year-old, I taught her how to tie her own shoelaces. Now she doesn't fall and she doesn't bruise. Imagine how many people would pay you so that they don't fall, so that they don't bruise. Jamie says, you as well. I'm loving it. First time seeing this, but I'll be watching more. Thank you so much, my man. I do this every single day for 30 minutes. All right. I will probably... Uh, send you a link to all the videos that I've done if you really want to binge watch most of them are jam-packed with content Some of them have got just a few mindset shifts so that you can actually see things in perspective Because look at this. We are now on the other side of the year Before we know it is going to be Father's Day before we know it is going to be Christmas and that's another sh another story and if you're enjoying this show guys, please um, please uh, share this all right, so you now get interviewed on podcasts, you know, you now start living a life that's worth something. Your mom is going to be proud about what you do. You are no longer that person that's talked about at a barbecue. When you t come around, people turn around because they, they, they know you're going to send them to some link. All right. So if you're going to start whatever business, which is maybe helping other people succeed, some people might call it coaching, but that's not it. You just retelling your story in a way that helps other people to avoid the mishaps that you went through. I'm more than happy to show you a couple of steps that you can take. But remember this. People are always seeking a way to go away from their own problems. 
So you might have gone through something in your life. You might have, um, you know, gone through some sort of adversaries and you came out a champion. That story becomes the holy grail of whatever it is that you're making. Look at everyone that you know. Look at um, um, every person that you follow right now. They have their own unique story that came from nothing to something and what they overcame and people are gravitating towards that. Every person will tell you, um, maybe Ty Lopez says, uh, I used to be homeless. Some people, you know, used to eat food that was, you know, not for human consumption, which is any other food anyway. But everybody comes from something to somewhere and people pay for that journey. You can do that in terms of books. You can do that in terms of live feeds like this. You can do that in terms of, um, you know, what did I mention? Books. You can guest podcasts on, on, on people's podcasts. And you can reach out to an audience that's willing and able to actually pay you to listen to how you went from where you were to where you are right now. It becomes so easy to attract your tribe. It becomes so easy to attract the people that really want to know how to escape the same way you did. Because people are going through a lot. And you might be sitting on a mountain of value right now and you don't quite know it yet. So if you are finding it difficult to find leads, find out what are you selling and who needs it. Alright? And if you are selling something that people don't need, Obviously, no one is going to want to buy it. Obviously, nobody's going to want to pay their money or give attention to something that is meaningless. Is what you're doing useful? I show up every day for 30 minutes. This is useful. A lot of people have carved out their time and I know some people will freak out if I don't show up. So what are you doing that is making a difference in other people's lives that people are willing to pay you for? Stephen says that's the main thing explaining your roller coaster to where you are. Well, pretty much. That's pretty much what it is. Look at everybody else. Tony Robbins. He started off poor. His family was, you know, um, not in the right place. But he did something and now he's who he is. That's what people follow. A story. And you are sitting on a story and experience that has greater importance and market value than you could ever dream of right now. What is your story? What do you have that could save somebody's life today? What did you go through? Who did you speak to? Who do you know? Who can you connect people to? What information can you bring into people's presence that they're willing to pay for? It's not a matter of just putting out content out there or whatever it is. It's a matter of creating and relating for the people that really need whatever it is that you're looking for. We are now living in a media, in a social media age where it is actually getting harder and harder to be poor. That's why it's getting difficult to be poor because of what Facebook is doing. There's groups. There's pages, there's Facebook Live like this, or if you're a little bit shy, you can go live in a group, you can create a group, you can reach out to people and connect. There's always somebody out there who's looking for what you've got. You just got to figure out what you know, what experience you've got, and how much of it are you willing to give away in order to get something back. Remember, what you give away the most is what you get to keep. I'm going to keep this 30 minutes of, of my life right now. From the time you started watching this up until now, is time that I am going to keep. Alright? The reason is, this video is going to be uh, repurposed into a blog. This video is going to be repurposed into a YouTube video. This video is going to be repurposed into a podcast. This video is going to be repurposed into other, um, you know, internet uh, properties that we own. Alright? So it's only 30 minutes of my time that I now get to keep and has created my legacy. People will share this. Somebody will find value in this and maybe eventually become a customer and pay me a little bit later. Had I sat down in my office in here for the last 30 minutes, am I getting back that time? So you are literally sitting on a mountain of value that you are not putting out there 
and freezing in, 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 in time so that you can actually keep that time. I really want you to succeed. I really want you to get the leads that you're looking for. I really want you to step out of the noise and to actually win at this game. Now, Stephen says you're an expert in your field and why can you help them? Appreciate your help. Why your ah I didn't I didn't quite get that it was too much for me but in any case guys the internet has created this massive opportunity that we can literally get paid for our own stories our own experience and whatever we've been through has greater market value than we could possibly think of all right think about what it is that you know that a lot of people um don't know quite yet I'm more than happy to want to help you right now if if you really want to figure out that part I'm going to give out my calendar to whoever comments impact comment impact right at the bottom because then I know you've watched the whole video comment impact and I'll send you a link to my calendar because now you want to find out if your story is worth putting out there in either a book in either a PDF, in either a Kindle format, or in either a podcast, or in either a, 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 a video. Right now, my biggest claim to fame, I'm not going to talk about the millions that we're creating for me and my clients, but I'm helping a blind man start a podcast. Alright? I really want you to win. In the meantime, enjoy this. And I will be in the news feed and checking out what you guys are doing. Comment impact and let's get started.